Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share all the different creative ways you can create new things with technology. This is my next video in my drones and STEM education series. You can check out all of the other videos on my playlist, my drones and STEM education playlist. If you are interested in learning more about drones and STEM education, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications of the future videos that are coming up in the so in today's video, I want to discuss the differences between the Tello EDU drone and the Tello drone. So first, let's take a step back. So back in 2017, I was on a mission to try to find a drone with a software development kit for under $100. The reason for that is because I, for, I'm a firm believer that you can use drones to teach so many different areas of STEM education, the STEM disciplines, and getting them into the classroom is going to be imperative for getting kids interested in things like aviation, aerodynamics, weather, systems, technology, robotics, engineering, math, all of the different sub-disciplines within STEM. And so drones are a fantastic way to be able to teach some of these different things. So back in 2017, I couldn't find it. It didn't exist. There were drones available that were under $100, but to come with a software development kit, I couldn't find it. So in January of 2018, Rise Robotics teamed up with DJI and Intel to create the Tello drone. And so this drone was a $99 drone that was really targeted towards the beginners and educational institutions. And the idea was it was, a, it was affordable, it was a low barrier to entry to get into the world of drones or unmanned aerial systems, sometimes called unmanned aircraft systems. And so this was a, uh, an affordable way to get people interested in this particular technology. And so with the Tello drone, there was a software development kit, or there is a software develop development kit where you can use Swift programming with that specific drone. With the Tello drone, you can still do things like flying stunts and create, creating videos and, and those kinds of things. We're just a little bit limited in some of the functionality around the programming aspect of it. And so in the description box of this video, I do include an affiliate link for you. If you are affiliated with an educational institution, you can sign up to get an educational discount from DJI. And so there is some limitations on it. I suggest using a .edu email address to make that process go a little bit faster. But you can sign up for an educational discount and towards a purchase of, I think it was two drones when I signed up for it. That is an affiliate link that I have available for you in the link uh, in the description box below. But it does go to help support this YouTube channel, so I appreciate all of your support in that. So the Tello EDU drone then came out later on in 2018, back in, I think, November of 2018. And so the Tello EDU drone was intended to be a, expanding on the Tello drone a little bit more. I see two main differences between the Tello EDU drone and the Tello drone. So the first is more support for different programming languages. So the Tello drone, you can program in Swift, so the Swift programming language. With the Tello EDU, you can program using Swift, you can use Python, and you can use Scratch. Having that ability to do more uh, advanced things with some different programming languages gives you a little bit more different functionality, a little bit more flexibility with uh, programming classes. So if you're getting into some more advanced programming classes, you can start doing some more advanced things with some of these programming languages. So that's some, one of the advantages of having that ability to use multiple different programming languages with the Tello EDU. The second difference between the Tello EDU and the Tello drone that I found is that the Tello EDU has support for drone swarms. So I looked up on the internet to get the official definition of what a drone swarm is, and I found this, that a drone swarm is a group of drones that have the ability to make decisions based on shared information. One of the best displays of drone swarms that I have seen is the Intel drone display. So if you've been to the Super Bowl in the last couple of years, they have done a uh, drone display. And also at CES in Las Vegas, um, a couple of years ago, they did a display over the Bellagio fountains and it was fantastic. I will link to that video in this chat and in, in the description box. It's fantastic. I have it on a separate YouTube channel where I just have some random videos. 
Watch it, it's fantastic. So as of the time of me filming this video, it's September 2019, the Tello EDU is $129. So for an additional $30, you get support for uh, three different programming languages and also the ability to support drone swarms. Now, mind you, you do need more than one drone for a drone swarm, um, but you have that functionality with the Tello EDU drone. Now that the costs are coming down with drones and so with software development kits, I'm very excited to see how we can get more and more drones into the classroom to get kids excited about these different disciplines, to get them excited about aviation, excited about technology, engineering, math, science, aviation, weather, all this kind of stuff that we can you we can use drones to teach and get them excited about. So I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. You know, we've come a long way in the last two years and I hope that we continue to keep keep moving forward. I hope this video has helped you decide which of the two drones is best for your needs, the Tello EDU or the Tello drone. And so if you are someone who is interested in bringing drones to your local school, whether you're a teacher, you are a parent, you're a volunteer, you're starting an after school program, I invite you to join my drones and STEM education community on Facebook. I will put a link to that in the description box of this video. Please click on that. You can sign up, uh, sign up there. Make sure you sign up for the email list too as I am constantly sending out great information for you. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you like and share it. I would love it if you would share this video with somebody who you think might benefit from it. Somebody who's into drones, somebody who's into aviation, somebody who's into STEM education. Please make sure, sure you share it and I will see you guys in my next video.